So I, I think you can see, I'm going to pan around, but I think you can see that out there on the lake, um, you know, and, and probably a little bit over in the woods over there, um, we got a little fog in here. And uh, it's been like this, oh, over the last couple of days, very rainy, and then fog will roll in, or we woke up to fog last night, got home to fog. And I thought, this is the message I've been wanting to talk about anyway, so it's a good analogy to have it here. And that is this, um, too often our messages that we are communicating with our people, with our kids, whoever it might be, can be like that fog. And they can get you know, to a point where it's not real clear what we're trying to get across. Well, as coaches, one of the most important things that we do is communicate with people. And so we have to know how to communicate clearly. And so the message today is on making sure that we are as, as clear in our communication as we can possibly be. Now, some will talk about how we want to speak briefly and make our, our message concise. I totally agree. All right? We want to be as brief as we can, but we have to make sure that the message gets across, that we're trying to get across. So we don't want to sacrifice clarity for brevity. We want to make sure that we are communicating as clearly as possible in the short, in a shorter time span, if possible, so that we can move on to what needs to be done. So get the message out there, get it across, make sure it's clear, make sure it's being understood, and move on. Now, you don't always know if your message is being understood, but you can do checks on whether people are nodding, whether they're looking confused, or you can ask. Everybody understand. You're not always going to get the exact answer. Some people are going to say yes, even though they don't. But you need to work to create as clear a message as possible in a as short a time as you can get away with, I guess is the best way to put that, so that they do understand the message. Um, you know, otherwise, they start their brains start looking like this. It's kind of foggy. I'm not exactly sure what I'm being asked to do. I'm not exactly sure what was being what was just being said. And so we need to make sure that we do all we can to be clear in our communication. It might require you to speak or write or whatever a little bit longer than what you'd thought in order to get that clarity across. So become really good at using your words in a succinct way. It's one of the reasons in practices we want to try and use key terms so that, boom, they know that term and they move on with, you don't have to explain it. You know, you can name your drills certain things so they know exactly what they're going to. When you're speaking about whatever your sport is, about, um, you know, certain elements, use key terms that you use repeatedly so that they will hear those and they'll know exactly what you mean. So clarity is absolutely key to your messaging, no matter what you're doing, no matter who you're speaking to, you have to make sure it's clear. And then as concise as you can be, that's how you want to handle getting that message across, okay? Um, and so here I am, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, all right, have I said what I needed to say? Has it been made clear? Am I starting to get too much? You know, and so that's, it's always, you know, we're always trying to figure out, it's kind of a dance as to, you know, where does the communication lie? Where does that clear communication lie? And have I gone too far with it? Or do I need to give a little bit more? And it's one of the things that you'll just continue to work at and continue to um, improve upon throughout your coaching career, the more you have to do it. Okay. Hey, do me a favor, scroll down, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you thought about this. I'd love to hear a comment. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll talk again next week.